Hello again and welcome to a new episode. In this episode, we will install the tubeless system on front and back wheels. Because we will do both wheels, I will split the episode in two parts. In part one, which will be this part, we will cover only the front wheel. For the front wheel, I went with the Metzler 6 days extreme tire. So, let's begin. The first step you need to do is to take off the front wheel. In order to do this, you need to lift the bike up. I didn't have a bike stand at the time of filming this, so I went with a more unconventional solution. I created a platform from uh, some bricks and planks and lifted the bike up on those. After removing the wheel, you will need to get the old tire off. To do this, you will need two or three tire irons. I won't go in depth about removing the tire, as there are tons of videos around this subject. If you want more beginner videos regarding stuff like these, let me know in the comments below and I will try to cover all of those. As you've noticed already, it's a really crowded day, so everyone in the family added a helping hand. Well, more or less. After removing the tire, get rid of the spokes rubber thingy and get your 21 inch tubeless system. As you will see, I am checking the instructions now and then, as in there you find every piece of information you will need. Now you will notice that you have already two holes in the rim placed at four spokes apart. One of the holes will be covered by a rubber plug. You will need to remove that and choose one of the holes to enlarge it using an 11mm drill bit. After that, you need to use some sandpaper on the hole, on the hole you've drilled previously, don't get any weird ideas. You need to do that in order to remove any sharp edges that will wear your tire chamber valve. After doing that, use a brush and clean the rim from the breeze and also use some soapy water and a rag to clean everything up. You need to do this in order for the rim tape to have good adhesion and form an air sealed chamber along with the tire. The next step is to stick the rim tape around the rim. To do this you will need to start from the center of the rim and form a full circle. Take your time with this step, as it's the most important one to have a good air seal. You can see that I'm constantly applying pressure on the tape as I move along. After doing a full circle, you need to move the tape on the right side of the center of the rim, so that you cover everything as in the picture from the instructions. of the rim tape step. You need to move the tape on the left side and again do a full circle around the rim. Thank you. 
After finishing this, apply some pressure along the entire rim so that everything will stick properly. Everything will stick together when you will inflate the high pressure tube anyway, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, using a sharp cutter, cut the tape where it's covering the two valve holes. You can first pinch the tape and after that cut along the hole to have a nice round hole in the tape. After doing that, remove the rim valve nuts except for the hex one, which needs to go inside the rim, and align the tubeless valves with the holes by moving the tube inside the plastic protection cover. After everything is aligned, push the valves in the holes and just hand tighten the rim lock nut. In order to put the tubeless system entirely on the rim, you will need to lubricate it with something. You can use soapy water, but if you plan to add some tire sealing after that, it's better to use a bit of the sealant as a lubricant. Soapy water will mess up the composition of the tire sealant, so it's not a good idea. a tire iron to slide the tube in place, but in order to make it easy you can remove the valve stem in order to let all the air out from the tube. Now you can learn from my mistake and make sure you remove the stem from the tube valve and not the tire chamber valve. You will see soon that because of this stupid mistake things go south for some time. At this point you need to get your new tire and start putting it on the rim. But before that check if your tire has a spin direction and make sure you put the tire on so that it spins correctly. Now use the provided metal plate and insert the rim into the tire by applying some downforce on the tire to make some room between the tire walls. Using a tire iron, go from side to side and push the rim inside the tire. Until I finish adding the tire, let's discuss about today's sponsor, which, surprise surprise, it's still me. If you find these videos helpful, leave a comment, give it a like or subscribe, because this will help me on the long run, hopefully. Also, in the description you will find links with almost all the products I used in this video. If you want to support me, you can buy from those links and maybe at some point I will be able to do this full time instead of going to a 9 to 5 job. After adding the tire to the rim, tighten the rim lock nut with a wrench 
and it's time to inflate everything up. But in order to do this, you need to use the correct valve first. Remember the mistake I pointed out earlier? Because I removed the stem from the wrong valve, I just assumed that was the high pressure tube valve, which was not the case. Now I'm just pumping air into the tire chamber and trying to figure out what I messed up in the entire process. You may also ask yourself, why am I using such a small pump to inflate everything? Well, this will be the pump I will have in my traveling toolkit and wanted to see how much of a hassle will be when I will need to inflate the tires in a remote location. I figured out what I was doing wrong and now I am inflating the high pressure tube which will create a bead lock and keep the tire on the rim. You will need to inflate this to 100 to 110 psi in order to create the correct bead lock. some soapy water. Spray the water all over the rim and check to see if any bubbles are showing up. Do this on both sides. If you can't notice any bubbles then you can proceed to the next step which is adding tire sealing. This is an optional step so you could decide to just skip it. To add the sealant, remove the stem from the tire chamber valve and add the sealant. the correct amount of sealant, give the wheel a spin to move the sealant along the entire chamber. After that, inflate again the tire chamber to the desired pressure and it's time to put the wheel back on the bike. wheel on the bike you can make sure it's centered by leaving the wheel loose and give it a spin. While spinning press the front brake and this will set the wheel centered. And after tightening everything up you can consider again that this is a job done. Well 
not really because you also have the back wheel but this in the next part thanks for watching and check the second part as well to see how things go with the back wheel where i struggle with different issues